For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says uh, that they want you to find F1, F2, and F3 so that the particle is being held in equilibrium. So you know that the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. In the x direction, we got a force of 600 stayed in the x-axis minus f2 the x component of f2 which is actually uh, f2 minus I mean sorry plus the x component of f3 because f3 is going towards the positive axis the x component of f3 and that is equal to zero now f2 the x component of f3 can be found by doing by first you gotta find uh, this projection right here that projection we're gonna call it um, the f3 projection in the x and y and it is equal to 3 over 5 times f3 according to this triangle 3 over 5 which is equal to 0.6 f3 and that projection gives you multiplying that projection by again 3 over 5 times 3 over 5 gives you the x component of f3 which comes out to be 0.36 f3 so minus um, point thirty six F three is equal to six hundred. So basically what I did is I passed a six hundred to the other side of the equation as a negative and then I changed all the signs to make F two positive, just make the equation look pretty. And that's our first equation. Then you know that the sum of the forces in the y is also equal to zero in the y we got f1's y component minus f3's y component and the sum of them two cancels out so it's equal to zero now f1 y component is equal to f1 times 4 over 5 according to this triangle times 4 over 5 and f3 y component <coughs> is equal to the projection that we found before the projection of f of f3 onto the xy but this time times 4 over 5 times 4 over 5 the projection is 0.6 f3 so 4 over 5 is 0 0.8 0 0.8 f1 minus the projection which is 0.6 f3 so 0.6 times 0.8 because 4 over 5 is 0.8 is equal to 0.48 f3 and the sum of these two is equal to 0 and this is going to be equation 2 and last but not least sum of the forces in the c direction is equal to 0 so we got 900 going straight down so that's negative 900 plus the c component of f3 plus the C component of F1 because the 600 and F2 are pointing um, in the plane of the XY so they have no C component and the sum of these three is equal to zero so the C component of F3 is given by F3 times 4 over 5 because it's this component right here going up so times 4 over 5 which eventually becomes 0 0.8 plus the C component of F1 is this component right here and it's F1 times 3 over 5 according to this triangle F1 times 3 over 5 and that is equal to 900 I just put the 900 at the other side so this comes out to be 0 0.8 F3 plus 0 0.6 F1 and that is equal to 900 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this equation 
going to call it I'm going to use this equation f3 and f1 with equation 2 in order to be able to find the values for all these forces so I'm actually going to flip it so let's put 0.6 f1 plus 0.8 F3 and that is equal to 900. I just switched the terms so they line up with these two. So I'm going to get this equation and multiply it. Actually, let me multiply it on this side because I want to use the other side. And I'm going to multiply it by this fraction that it's negative 0.8 over 0.6. So when I multiply each of these values by negative 0.8 and 0.6, this equation becomes. minus 0.8 f1 minus 1.07 f3 is equal to negative 1200 and then I'm going to add these two equations I'm going to add it with equation 2 and as you can see the f1's cancel out and these two add up to be negative 1.55 f3 is equal to negative 1200 so if you solve for f3 you get that F3 is equal to 776 newtons. Then you plug in F3 into equation 2 right here and you solve for F1 and you get that F1 is equal to 466 newtons. And then you plug in uh, F, F1 and I'm sorry you plug in F3 into 1 and when you plug in uh, F3 into equation 1, you get that F2 is equal to 879 newtons. So final answer, final answer, final answer. What you want to do for this cancel problem is form your three equations, F of X, F of C, and F of Y. Remember the sum of all of these has to be equal to zero. And then just solve the system of equations and you find all the forces. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.